Good morning. Two grandmas and a microphone, number three. Here we go. So, oh, another incredible week has passed, and with the debates, and after, after last week, I just wanted to touch in, touch base here. I felt very agitated and super high energy, and not in a good way. It's like having too much caffeine and I couldn't just calm down and I thought, I'm gonna quit these videos, I'm gonna quit caring so much, this is making me nuts. So, and especially, and the, we started to, I started to watch the debate Tuesday evening and I'm sure most of you guys have heard about this by now. I thought, I'm done, I'm done. I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm just gonna go back and not care. Not, of course I'm gonna care, but it just was over the top. So then I thought, no, I, I, I can't just go away that, we should have, this should be our third video, and we should end this, because this, it was too much. But then that feels like I'm going back to my old ways, instead of stepping into the new way, and I thought, no, we should just do this on a different level, and Vicki and I had a really good conversation, and we're gonna carry on, because grandmas are very wise, and we have a lot to say. And I empower women through fitness, and I thought, well, maybe this might inspire other women to, do the same and to become aware and to really think about how you feel and then express yourself from that. So this week I I listened to my boyfriend Rich Roll. I have a lot of boyfriends. <laughs> so another rich couple Rich Roll podcast about having conversations with people and having conversation not with just people you agree with but also disagree with and but and to do it in a way of not changing their mind, do it just listen to them and getting their point of view. So I thought, wow, you know, this this isn't an easy thing for me to do, but I reached out to a family member. I won't name any names because here we go. But it was really a really good conversation. She is a Trump supporter. Mm. And I was trying to understand because I am so I've gotten to be so not a Trump supporter. Right. And it was a really good conversation, and she, you know, she's concerned about abortions. She's concerned about we're going to go to, it's going to be so left and liberal, and all these horrible things are going to happen if that happens, and it's so fear-based, and it was, I'm glad I, I reached out to her. So I, try, I talked to her about what I cared about. She talked to me about what she cared about, and it was good to have an open conversation. Great. So, but what I wanted to just just touch base about is abortion. You know, it's a really difficult topic and I always avoided it in the past because mm. who wants an abortion? But I, I want to talk about your what you had talked to me about. Oh, okay. So my view has been for a long time and I was telling Mary uh, that uh, I don't think anybody's for abortion. Right. No one. But as my, I was thinking uh, that as much as people say they're pro-life, when I, I feel like I'm pro-life, even though I, I would want keep women to have a choice. Even though you're pro-choice, you're also pro-life. You know what I mean? But maybe it's the wrong terms. Right. You know, not right. that the, but the pro-life is like, well, so am I pro-life. I right. care about the lives of everyone. Not just the, um, you know, the early child who's not even, you know, right. able to live on their own yet right. if they were outside the body. But the person that's actually here now, like, what's her life going to be like? And why does she want an abortion? I, I would rather see, like I love, um, Rachel Maddow had a, a statement, did you see? If you want to prevent abortion, then make sure you promote education, high school diploma at least, right. um, birth control, what was the other thing she said? She said three things, education, birth control, well, something oh, and, about have health, a, health and have a government that has uh, health care for everyone. And I thought, that's how I feel. I want to prevent abortions, I do. I want to prevent them. I don't want to have them. That's, there's different, I think most people feel like me. I do. Unfortunately, there may be a few people that have had abortions that unfortunately or mistakenly ha have used it as some birth control, but that would be like, ugh, like that would really. Who wants to go through that? Who would be, that would be awful. Right. What I and have, that's where the education comes in. Well, right? definitely education. <clears throat> but one of the things I've said since I'm a young woman is, once a woman gets pregnant, she's got three choices. She either can have the baby, give the baby up for adoption, or have an abortion. No matter which option she chooses, she has lifelong consequences. And that, I wish we could just take that in. 
This right. is not easy for most women. So my biggest concern for women is I don't want to see them go back to the right. times when, you know, they had to go to butchers because it was illegal. So I just don't want it to be illegal. Uh, certainly, what I would like to do is put more money, more focus, more, more into education and to preventing, especially educating our young girls right. in high schools, you know, or before. My son tells me, he's in his 40s, and he tells me, kids are having sex in the sixth grade, in seventh oh, grade, God. and it brought me to tears. I'm like, they're not ready. You know, not emotionally, not spiritually, not physically, like, oh no. So that to me, he said, no, we learned about sex in the sixth grade. People were already, I'm like, I understand kissing and all, but I don't get actually having sex at that point. So that was very sobering for me. So to me, about abortion, we've got the focus on the wrong syllable. You know, it needs to be on prevention, education, and providing health care right. for everyone. And I don't know what we would call it, but I, I you know, I don't, I don't um, appreciate that people that say they're pro-life call us not being pro-life because I don't. I don't really agree. I don't agree. Right. It's, it's kind of narrow-minded, and I'm not. I don't want to say the word ignorant, but it's not wise. It's certainly the opposite of wise because um, I don't know anybody who's for abortion. Right. Do you know? Just for the right. choice. Yeah. And if you take all the rights away, the people <laughs> with the money are going to be able to get an abortion. Good point. People without the money are going to be in the back alley doing whatever. Which you know? would be awful. I just awful. don't want it to go back to that. I just right. that would be horrible. Right. And and then I and I don't agree with health care for all. I don't know what the answer is for all of that, but anyway, that's the whole different conversation. Well, that's another conversation. That's another conversation, <laughs> right? And and the other issue with that I came up for me this week was about fracking. And I just really I talked last week. I just learned about fracking, but. Um, my dad, he had, my dad worked for Mobile Oil for years and years, wow. you know, yeah. And he thinks that fracking, you know, is a good idea because we have become energy independent because of fracking. And I thought, well, that, that's a good point. You know, it's good to be independent. Sure, sure. But then I think we, we need to take it to the next step. We need to now focus on clean energy and we can't stay stuck with the fossil fuel. It's time to move forward. We've got to vote in the person we think is going to move us forward. Right. But what about the fracking on the lands, like the Indian lands and stuff? Isn't that yeah, I know. I know. It is a problem. That's a problem. It's a problem. I'm done with fracking. But, yeah. you know, I but don't you're think... you're saying but, that there's a reason for it, and I get it, right, if it we're thinking about being independent, right. you know. Right. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, you could, ladies, men, you can all do your research, but I'm pretty sure Biden is approving fracking only on government land. Only on lands that are already owned by government. So there's a boundary. If, I think I'm almost. I think that's what I read. I'm almost positive. I read it very quickly. Right. Which is because he's, you know, the far left. They're not very happy with him because he won't do like the whole no fracking anywhere anytime. He's more of a sees the benefit and wants to put in clean energy. He's got a lot of plans for right. clean energy. So it has to be a transition. That's yeah. For sure. Yeah. Right. Right. So anyway, what else? Those were two big subjects. Two big subjects. That right. we, uh, yeah, I get to talk about. Right, okay. Um, I just want to say, this isn't easy. Like, it brings up a lot of things for Mary and I and some of our conversations. We had a little conversation before, but it's helpful because otherwise we, I, I may be sitting here crying. <laughs> because some of these things just touch me so deeply and they matter so much on, on many levels. Right. Yeah. And I think the debate brought this up for me too, that we just really need to have respect and dignity for the office of the presidency, for each other, and it feels like it's kind of, it's going away. <laughs> well, you know, I always had respect for the office, but I would never want, it, it, from my background, I don't want an authority figure right. to demand respect, but not give respect back exactly to the country. Right. And it goes both ways. I've never, um, I've had like many of us, I've never been in this position before to have so much fear around the uh, person who's who's leading our country. Right. That's a very strange position to be right. in. You know? right. And I was telling Mary, I felt very sad watching him go to the to his uh, helicopter for to go to Walter Reed. Sad for him, sad for all of us, because I didn't have to get to this point. Right. Exactly. But I think the respect needs to be for all of us, right? Yes. Not yeah. just for an office of president, but no. what about the 200,000 people who died, what about all of us, all for of each us. other, even if we have different opinions, right? Right, right. And I think social media plays into all of that, so that's a whole other conversation.
conversation. But okay, no, there are lots is. of conversations right. we can have. Right. <laughs> right. So this is how I think I'm going to end it. I think we all need to make an apple pie and God bless America. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Thanks for listening. And uh, we're going to keep going. And if any of this resonates with you, we'd love to hear from you. And please share this with your friends, other grandmas. We, we have to unite. You don't have to be a grandma. This age bracket is fabulous, right? So exactly. Enjoy. And we'll talk next week. Thank you so much.